everybody, Jerry Turner here from the Countryside Restoration Trust. Today I'm sitting in the woodland at Pierpont Farm in Frencham in Surrey. And today's activity is going to be mini beast hunting. Now a woodland is a perfect habitat to explore and there are plenty of places where mini beasts are going to be hiding. For example, underneath the leaf litter, underneath logs and also in trees themselves. So I'm going to be showing you how to transfer your mini bee safely from where it is into a little bug pot so you can take a closer look. The first place we're going to look for mini bees is underneath this log. So I'm going to show you how to safely transfer the mini beast from the leaf litter into the bug pot so that you can look at it more closely. So let's just pretend this is your mini bees. As soon as you spot it, you take the lid off, you put it as close to your mini beast as possible and then with a spoon you very gently coax your mini beast into the pot and then replace the lid. Now this part of the bug pot is a magnifying glass which means that if you look through it you will see the mini beast supersized. So let's lift the log and see what's underneath. What did you see? I think I spotted some wood lice. So I'm gonna go in and see if I can find some. And as you can see, they've all started to hide underneath the leaf litter. So here we go, let's try and find them. Success. Two really important things to remember when mini bees hunting is number one, only have one mini beast in the bug pot at a time because that allows you to see the mini beast really, really clearly. And number two, and more importantly, always put the mini beast back where you found it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Goodbye, Wood Mouse. Thanks very much. Today I've showed you how to go mini beast hunting using a bug pot and spoon. But sometimes you might like to exchange your spoon for a brush. For example, when you're looking for mini beasts on leaves or in bushes, you might like to brush your mini beasts into the pot. Another way to catch your mini beasts is to do a shakedown. So, if you're looking in bushes or trees, lay a sheet underneath your bush or tree and give the branch a really good shake and all of your mini beasts will fall gently onto your sheet. Once you've got them, it's then time to name them. So you can download an identification card from the internet, there are plenty to choose from, and they will give you pictures and names of the mini beasts that you find. So, hope you enjoy going mini beast hunting, good luck and see you again soon.